If one lives the NVA lifestyle, it makes sense to spend some of one's wealth on one's hobbies. Some people may spend it on fashion, while others may spend it on automobiles. Kyle Kuzma is a newcomer to the NBA, having joined only a few years ago. He currently plays for the Lakers, who have obviously generously compensated him. Kuzma can be seen getting into lavish sports cars in numerous photos, including a brand new Porsche Panamera with the red rims that he received for his birthday. The Porsche Panamera is a mid, full-sized luxury car produced by the German automaker Porsche. It is front-engined and rear-wheel drive with all-wheel drive options available. The Porsche Panamera production model was unveiled in April 2009 at the 13th Auto Shanghai International Automobile Show in Shanghai, China. In 2011, hybrid and diesel models were introduced. The Panamera received a facelift in April 2013, making its debut at the Shanghai Auto Show for the second time. In 2013, the Panamera SE Hybrid, a plug-in hybrid version, was released in the United States. In 2016, the Panamera model line was redesigned. The Panamera's name is derived from the Carrera Panamericana race, as is the Porsche Carrera lineage. The Panamera is widely regarded as the long-awaited fruit of Porsche's 989 concept car from the late 1980s. The Panamera, like the Porsche Cayenne SUV, which has become the mark's best-selling vehicle, irritated many Porsche purists because it was perceived as an attempt to broaden Porsche's appeal beyond hardcore fans. The Panamera ran counter to Porsche's signature offerings, particularly its light two-door rear-engine sports car such as the 911. The Panamera, on the other hand, is a full-size luxury car that weighs nearly 4,000 pounds, has four doors, and its engine is located in the front. The Panamera's design, with its long hood and rear hatch, is reminiscent of a stretched 911. The 911 has a sparse interior due to its emphasis on raw performance, whereas the Panamera has a sumptuous interior loaded with modern technological amenities and pricey leather upholstery. Kyle recently shared a photo of his Ram 1500 TRX truck on Instagram, showing it off to the rest of the world. Monica Coleman of Auto Evolution shared some additional information about the vehicle, and it appears to be a pleasant vehicle to drive. Notably, the wheels are made by Forgiato, a company that specializes in custom wheels. His income enables him to live comfortably and pursue his fashion for automobiles. Most monster trucks are restricted to arenas and closed courses, but the 2022 Ram 1500 TRX can be driven on public roads. The TRX is essentially a stretched-out Ram 1500 with a supercharged V8 that produces 702 horsepower. There are more powerful Hellcat-powered models, but no other stock pickup sounds like it ate a swarm of demons while accelerating to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The TRX's only real rival is the 450hp Ford F-150 Raptor, but it won't be a fair fight until the 700-plus HP Raptor R arrives. Even so, it will have to compete with the Ram's ridiculously luxurious interior and exceptional on-road manners, which helped it earn a 10-best award and a spot on our editor's choice list. However, living with a 2022 Ram TRX isn't all monster jam-worthy antics, as maneuvering in traffic or parking lots can be stressful and frequent fuel fill-ups will become a habit. But no one ever said owning a monster was easy. Ram adds a new limited production ignition edition to the TRX lineup for 2022. They make the TRX even easier to identify thanks to their exclusive bright orange paint, with only 875 copies set to hit the streets. The package also includes special bedside graphics and black 18-inch wheels with machined faces. Inside, orange and copper accents can be found on the floor mats, center console badge, and contrast stitching throughout the cabin. Do you want to know how much one of these pumpkin-like super pickups costs? They start at $93,280 and come fully loaded with features like ventilated front and rear seats, a leather and micro-suite wrapped steering wheel, and so on. Despite the fact that the TRX starts just above $74,000, it's a lot of truck for the money. 
While the base model is certainly well-equipped, it is missing some features that we would expect to be standard. A heated steering wheel and heated front seats, for example, cost extra and otherwise only available with the Level 1 package. This rises the price to around $78,000, but it includes a slew of upgrades. In one of the photos, Kuzma focuses on the four Giato wheels, which appear to be from the Terra series, model Sportizia T. Many of his followers praised him for his vehicle, but others, such as fellow NBA player Draymond Green, criticized his choice of cars and wheels. We have seen a lot of NBA players drive insane top-tier vehicle in the past, and Kuzma is no exception. Michael Jordan, too, has a pricey and luxurious car collection. Kyle Kuzma has had a productive season with the Washington Wizards, averaging 13.1 points per game, 7.9 rebounds per game, and 2.8 assists per game. Hopefully, this trend continues and we'll see Kyle Kuzma add more vehicles to his personal collection. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Are you a fan of Kyle Kuzma's stunning car collection? Let us know in the comments! Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this! We'll see you in the next video!